Well, let's start with the fourth and last uh, block of uh, presentations. We still have um, five interesting uh, uh, presentations to come. The first one, then I please call uh, PhD candidate Arnaud Monterde. Uh, is about a book chapter with the title Mobile Ensembles, the Uses of Mobile Phones for Social Protest by Spain's Indignados. Uh, thank you to, to everybody. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, 15 mayor indignados movement. Uh, from now I will say 15M uh, and the role of mobile phones during the protest and why uh, it can be useful to understand the 15M uh, from this analytical view. Uh, this is the, the structure of my presentation. I divided the presentation in uh, four blocks. Uh, and I will start that expressing uh, during the uh, 2011 uh, a kind of uh, wave of global protest swept in the world uh, uh, where millions of ordinary citizens employed a huge variety uh, of digital media to demand a greater democratic freedoms and, and social justice. Uh, mobile phones were uh, widely used and uh, and especially in the in the 15 May experience are uh, significant, but we still don't know uh, uh, if their significance uh, today it, uh, it can be uh, clear or not. The the aim of the the, the chapter that uh, we write with uh, John Postil, sorry I forget it, uh, he's a professor in the University of Melbourne. Melbourne, uh, and the, the aim of this chapter is to analyze the uses of mobile phones during the three different periods uh, that I have selected from uh, a 15 May movement during 2011. Uh, we have uh, chosen this, uh, this concept of, uh, sorry, uh, this concept of mobile ensembles, thank it, uh, taking the concept of uh, media ensembles, define it as the unique set of mobile and other technologies that are brought to bear on a specific collective action. Uh, for example, Occupy a Square, preventing an eviction or holding a general assembly. Uh, it seems to us appropriate to, uh, to mix this, con uh, this connection between communication and the social practices. We uh, focus all the time in the combination between practices and, and technologies. Um, uh, our uh, theoretical framework uh, is based in some contribution, some uh, uh, different approach, uh, some of them in, uh, in permanent controversy, but we think that it can be uh, interesting to refer uh, some of them. For example, the concept of uh, proposed by, by Reinhold as uh, smart mobs uh, that uh, he defined uh, that arise when the human propen uh, propensity towards cooperation is amplified by information and communication technologies. Probably one example of that is in 2004, uh, the, the SMS night during the the night before the election, the general election that uh, changed a lot the, the political situation in the country. But we have other uh, approximations, for example, the, the optimistic positions about the role of technology as Sharkey uh, does, or, or the, the, the uh, skeptical position from uh, Morozov. Uh, also, it seems to us interesting the proposals from Castells talking about the, the, the role of the autonomy um, in, the, in the communication networks uh, on, the, on the social movements uh, from 2011 or uh, the role of the emotions, uh, other approximations to refer this kind of uh, new uh, forms of uh, uh, collectivity uh, like swarms or uh, smart mobs or uh, new forms of aggregation, etc. Well, we can find a lot of a lot of different approximations, and uh, we believe that uh, we have to uh, understand that the the complexity that uh, uh, that appears in in this uh, kind of studies. 
Uh, we also remark in the in the theoretical part some unresolved issues. For example, uh, how we can um, how we can uh, how we need uh, a specific position rather than general notions such as new media or digital media, uh, the wider and shifting media environments and how this can uh, change our uh, analytical point of views. The, the study of new forms of uh, mobile action uh, is, is still in its infancy because there are just uh, a, a few works uh, and probably going to appear more during the the next years, but uh, I, I would like to uh, you uh, to offer you some uh, relevant data. Uh, for example, in 2011, a total of 19.3 million million of users access accessed the internet via mobile networks, uh, an increase of 65.1 percent uh, since 2010. In this sense, there's a huge increase uh, a huge increase during uh, from 2010 to 2011. Uh, 2012, this this uh, number rise to 24.9 uh, million uh, of uh, lines, and in 2013, 29 millions. Uh, the third part of the presentation is. Uh, is our uh, approach to the, 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 the study case. We have divided the, we have divided the, the study of, of the movement in, in three phases. The, the movement is not just the demonstration in 15 May, the, the, the movement uh, is uh, probably is still uh, today uh, affecting the, the, uh, the Spanish politics and would like to em emphasize this processual approach uh, because it's not we cannot have like snapshots from specific moments. We need like a, a, a long vision of the of the of the problem. Uh, on this sense, uh, uh, here you have the, the three stages. The first the first one is the, the preparation one and. It's uh, from February 2011 to uh, to May when when the, the when the, the big demonstration uh, is produced. Uh, this is this is interesting, and uh, we like to point out this question because a lot of people say that it was a kind of spontaneous movement, and uh, we have been studying the the work uh, behind the demonstration, preparing uh, all the. All the all the demonstration using uh, the social network sites and 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 probably in this in this in this phases uh, this phase is characterized by a, a low intensity of of mobile communication, but it's the the role of internet uh, it's central. The second phase is the explosion. Uh, the explosion is characterized by the the moment of replication of the camps, uh, uh, where uh, this replication uh, were produced to more than 100 cities, and uh, how this can happen that in one or two days you can have uh, this uh, explosion. And here, uh, obviously, the, the, the mobile communication plays a key role because it was the, the main uh, way uh, to uh, access to, to the internet, and we specially focus on the on the Twitter users and the the, the streamings uh, produced uh, by the by the, the squares, uh, the streaming produced by the squares to ex to explain to the world what was happening there in front of the kind of media silence uh, produced. Uh, also, here you have some relevant data, for example, the new Twitter users, uh, users created or the, the, the number of Twitter messages, messages produced. For example, we have another, uh, another important uh, data that from 16 to 18 of May, there was a 20% of uh, increase in, mob in mobile data traffic. Uh, 
this means that something something is happening in the network. Just just the 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 final fa phase diffusion. This is interesting because six months uh, later, the movements uh, the movement express uh, have a, a kind of new public apparition with a, a demonstration in more than uh, 1,000 cities uh, around the globe. Here you have the, the picture in the places where uh, you can have a, 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 you can see a demonstration, and we have done this uh, network analysis, and we can see here the connections between the Spanish movement and the, the others movement as Occupy Wall Street, uh, which was uh, so famous during 2011. Another interesting data that from all those tweets collected here, 30% uh, were from uh, from mobile devices, mobile devices, and probably from the from the the transmitted from the the, the main demonstration. Just to just to close the the, the presentation, uh, we can we could say that the proliferation of mobile internet devices has opened it up uh, countless possibilities for the hybridization of physical and digital spaces. We cannot uh, separate more the, the this relation. We cannot separate what is happening in the physical space and what is happening in the digital sphere. Uh, if a few years ago it was still justifiable to separate mobile and internet technologies with the ban of uh, smartphones and the internet in the smartphones, this is no longer possible. And all this suggests, and just to close the urgent need uh, for analysis of the relationship between mobile technologies, emergent form of protest uh, that take account of the open-endness and complexity uh, of this relationship. Thank you very much.